Hey everybody, Brian here from wantlabs.net. Um, just wanted to show you the last strategy, um, strategy four, buy a call, sell a put. What we're trying to do is basically establish a maximum ceiling price, purchase price, and a minimum price uh, for um, a range of, uh, in this case, it would be uh, the difference between the The premium of the call and the put is it more? No, sorry, the call. Yeah, sorry, the call strike and the put strike. So that's the price range. So as here, we have a table of various uh, futures with the actual basis, cash price, plus or minus. Now we're longing 650 or shorting 630, which is the um, chosen uh, put strike and call strike. Now uh, it gets further deeper into here where we have this long 650 call gain or loss. And this is calculated here where it's the futures price minus the call strike price minus the call premium paid otherwise the maximum loss in the premium paid and also we have the short of uh, 630 put the gain or loss here which is the futures price minus the put strike price minus the premium put premium received and then of course here uh, we're well within the range of uh, our floor or ceiling so I'll just show you how to calculate this in C++, simple stuff, and go from there. So let me go into my uh, virtual box, C++ here. Um, and pretty well what we have here is this calculation. So we get our ceiling purchase price, call strike price, minus the premium paid, minus the premium received, minus the basis, right? Then we have the put price. I think we have an error here. Put strike price, put strike minus the call premium, minus the put premium received. Uh, put premium received minus the basis. Let's see if this uh, works. I don't think I've even run this yet. Um, let me just show you how this will work. So we're doing a buy, call, sell, put. Just do a build. Glares. <laughs> 